Good evening, everybody. Good Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds among light heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. And his opponent with a record of 54 victories with 40 by knockout and seven defeats from Pensacola, Roy Jones Jr. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. one is now underway all the talk is done it is simply time to fight Teddy what do you think we're gonna see out of Jones I think you're gonna see what you always see you know you're gonna see a guy that breaks the rule book as far as the way you're supposed to go about technically approaching pugilism but I think you're gonna see speed you're gonna see power great reflexes great sense of anticipation and you're gonna see a little cockiness Look at that combination by Express. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Halfway through round number one. Combo lands to the head. Back to the body. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. That's why they call it the sweet science. Good work by Roy Jones. Yeah, real smart there. Making a miss, making him pay. Not able to land the uppercut. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Express. Jones is scoring with that right hand. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Comes across with a hook up top. And this round comes to an end. Roy Jones Jr. is able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Here we go. Round two is underway. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Express is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Well off the mark by Express. Great hook to the head that time. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. 
Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. He just missed that shot up top. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. What an excellent two-punch combo by Express. Express is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Unable to land clean by Express. Last 10 seconds. End of this round. Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Custom Auto, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cuss? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I'll tell you that much. Because Cuss... <laughs> didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say, I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. Very accurate two-punch combo by Express. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Jones is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good right hand. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Express. What did we learn about Roy Jones as an amateur, about what he brings into the ring? I mean, the guy went 121 wins as an amateur and racked up as many medals and honors as he could. Well, I'll tell you what we learned about Jones. Very gifted, tremendous talent, speed, and power. Great mix of the two. And he found a way to make long right. He breaks the rule book on technical things, on as far as the approach of how you should do boxing 101. He pulls back when you shouldn't pull back. He drops his hands when you shouldn't drop your hands. But he has the speed, the timing, the anticipation, the confidence to make it right. He missed that uppercut. Express's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Nice movement there. Keep that up. Keep moving. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels and 
they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Jones has got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an effective counterpuncher, guy has to come close to you. But his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That is it right there. I mean, that's what impresses the judges. The three-punch combination by Express. Able to land the hook to the head. Good step back counterpunch there. Beautiful. is doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Super two punch combo by Express. Dirkly, Dirkly, don't stand in front of it. You have to double the jab already. Look, he's timing you. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Up top with the right hand. Roy able to block that punch. Looks to the head. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Express. Express's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. He got hit, but he sends it right back. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Roy Jones. Get him. Get him. Jones is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Oh! Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. Being knocked down, now some major questions to be answered by Roy Jones Jr. Express's combination punching is working well here. Jones is proving to be elusive. Turns over that hook upstairs. And that's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. Roy Jones Jr. is known as a capable fighter, but right now he needs to be known as a fighter who can make adjustments. What's the one adjustment you want to see with him, Teddy? Keep his hands up. You know, he's so used to getting away with all that speed that he has of pull back with his hands down. You know, he's paying a price. He's been getting caught here all night long. You know, just keep your hands up. Block some of those incoming shots. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. A crush. Wow, was Roy Jones. Wow! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time.
over. Jones is smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your express. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Expresses your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's gonna be easy to sell now to television. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.